So, um, the, the things that we need to talk about is the news, the things that happened uh, past week or or even up to this day. So, uh, I have a, a little list you about are, things are, that we need to talk about. You are more prepared than I do. Yeah. So, uh, people are enjoying this segment. I, I think we need more talking. We, we need more talk about global things that are happening in Armistling. And uh, this is a segment we call This Week in Armistling News. So, um, before we get into more detail of things that happened past week, things that are coming this week. So, uh, this week is Armed Battle. It's, I think it's Netherlands. Mm -hmm. Netherlands, yeah. So, uh, big tournament last year. It was full of Kazakh yeah, army before. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, for everyone, if you're near there, check it out. I think Germans going to go and uh, people from Belgium. All the countries that are close to that will be. It's a good tournament. And... Uh, I saw matches from last year. It was really good matches. Uh, next week, Rig Open 2019. Mm -hmm. We're preparing everything. Will be, it will be. I hope the biggest event we have done up to this date, and as as good as we can make it. We will have yeah. Igor Mazurenko, Anders Axlo, Marcin, uh, which is a technical director of PAL, will be there helping us with things and uh, it's going to be part of UERPA system, Unified Rating of Arms Link of February Professionals. 23. Yeah. February 23 here in Riga and uh, it's the first event under uh, Unified Rating of Professional Arms Link in Baltics and I think in Europe. Mm -hmm. Engin and uh, Thursday match was ranked. First first super fight, first but vendetta, but was under vendetta rating. Yeah. yeah, but this is the first tournament that's under it so everyone just come, <laughs> come meet us. It's, yeah, we, we still don't know about uh, points, how much you will get for that or our it's, coefficient. It, but uh, winners will get 30 points. 30 points. For, for each arm. The yeah. Lottie Tour winners last year 100. get 100 points. Yeah. Runners up 70 points. And yeah. then, we, we don't know so, all the system about this, yeah. but we yeah. don't know the end, uh, end game of the system and everything else. But I think we're going to yeah. talk about with Igor about it. Rig Open, February 23. Riga, right here, our yeah. event. Come, yeah. yeah, come, guys, please. <laughs> Slotty Tour category, same yeah. as Slam as in the Slotty yeah. Tour. Yeah, for women, it's 60, 65. Also, we will have junior boys, 18, junior boys, 23, uh, 21, 21, and uh, also novice or beginner arms slot class. Mm -hmm. So, everyone who's near and has a chance to come, we would love to have you. Mm -hmm. um, Super match Italy uh, on next weekend yep. after that so i already booked my flight uh, we're leaving together with raymond santanovic and uh, we're gonna be there it's again big tournament that's happening in italy in uh, march 2nd so if you're close to there i recommend coming mm -hmm. and, and seeing things how it is um, biggest thing that happened last week the biggest thing that uh, we wanted to see was engin versus mindaugas Let's talk about that one. So the left arm. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not a big difference, left or right arm. Let's talk. Let's talk with the left arm. With left arm, it was it it it, uh, it was hanging. As we said, he went through like a truck. Yeah, it, everything was uh, how I uh, how I thought it will be. So for me, left arm, Engin was uh, dominant. Uh, I said said before, Engin will win, and. Uh, with with left arm, it was really not much much chance for yeah, uh, for yeah. Mindaugas to do anything. Yeah, Engin, Engin was in total control. It, it, sometimes when you when you look for side, uh, it seems uh, this difference is is uh, incredible. Maybe it's not so big. Yeah, it's, we, it's, we we really don't know. Yeah, we, we don't so, know. sometimes yeah. it's enough for you to be five ten percent stronger and in, in some position, especially just... if you are explosive arm wrestler. And that's it. It seems uh, every 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 fight is a flash pin, and uh, yeah. Engin uh, did what he had to do. And, and at the moment, his left arm is better, and uh, yeah, that's it. it. Yeah, for... it, 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 that's it. And with right arm, same scenario. Uh, first three rounds went really mm -hmm. fast, and fourth and fifth, uh, Engin stopped. He didn't go for the finish. He let uh, Mindaugas try, but uh, again. Engin looked incredible, but uh, right now I don't know. Maybe Mindaugas was just in a bad shape, but I don't think he was in a bad shape. I think he was in good shape. I think uh, 
Engin was really yeah, I, I think really you don't strong. need to take anything away from Engin. Uh, no, I think not, he not was, because uh, he not he won because I mean Douglas was weak. No, Engin, Engin no, was no, no. was prepared. Engin yeah. was in good shape. Yeah. He was ready. He wanted but, to prove who who who's the boss here. But I mean, Douglas looked like he's really weak <laughs> when you're against Stable versus Terzi. Uh, Engin made him look weak. You know, it, that's, it, we, we that's, really... like, that's what I said before. Uh, if if we compare their styles. Engin is is a nightmare for every top roller. Mindoga is Mindogas is a, is a fighting a clear top roll style. He's he's tra tracking, the... trying to take opponents risk, going for a hand control, trying top roll. What you, can you do if yeah. Engin have I, I believe best best hand control in in, in uh, lightweights or sometimes even in middleweight. Yeah. So his hand, his rotator is too solid. Yeah. And that's it. And that's what I said before. I, I don't believe Mindaugas will top roll Engin. I don't believe Mindaugas can hook Engin. So yeah. only chance is what he did in the in a slot tour. Yeah, just to try to press him in, in yeah. some way. But uh, Engin was fresh. He was really, really strong. He looked incredible. And it, and as I say, it. it I, I'm not saying Mindaugas was weak, but Engin made him look weak. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but it's again, that was, that was uh, Saturday, who knows what, what would happen maybe after like few months and uh, it's, yeah. it's always uh, arm wrestling or every fight, contact sport, uh, combat sport, few days later, few months later, it's, it's really weird change. because, and, you know, if, if we talk about like a competition format, a super match format, the Engin would look better in, in, a, in a competition format because he's so explosive. And Mindaugas should look better in super match format because he can hold and he's usually a little bit slower. But completely different things happen. Engin was so dominant, was very strong. Good job from him. Yeah, I, I, I was supporting both of them and I really wanted to see some uh, war, uh, long yeah. fights, uh, straps, yeah. everything. But from other side, when I get older, yeah. uh, some, so, somehow I start to uh, feel some sympathies uh, with those uh, old arm wrestling. Uh, Fast wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, not funny, but I, I'm watching too. Engin and really enjoying like he's in, in his 40s and uh, still doing great. And I'm watching like and I'm feeling some uh, similarities with myself <laughs> that, uh, oh, okay, I'm not yeah. so young and I still can do good. And uh, I'm watching like, okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> all all. Old, old guys rules. So, old guys rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. so congratulations, Engin. That was that was uh, impressive. And yeah. for Mindaugas, he's he's a very talented arm wrestler. He's uh, already proved that he's one of best, or sometimes even best in in, in, in his weight class. And uh, he has a great future in. Yeah, he's he's very yeah. young still. He's still yeah. young. He's still. Can improve and pedagogically, and this. you you learn more when you lose. lose yeah, yeah. So uh, I believe no, nothing Mindaugas gives you will more also, motivation. Than yeah, losing. he will also learn from this fight a lot. Yeah. yeah, that's how it should be. Yeah, I, me as well. I wanted to see a war, but after the left arm, after the first round with right arm, I was like, oh my god, it's like oh, it's gonna be five zero again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, another thing that happened right there in Turkey was Lebanon versus Turkey super matches. They had four super matches, two were won by um, Turkish arm wrestlers and two were won by mm -hmm. uh, Lebanon arm wrestlers. And uh, I, I saw the Instagram post when uh, they were coming back home and they were greeted like they just won world championship. Right. And that's such a good, that's such a great thing to have. Like it. The competition was competition, but it wasn't the super super class, you know, super no, high level. Still but this still the support of the country of everything. Like, I want that. <laughs> we don't have that in Latvia here, or I, I don't know some other places where you have that. But um, Lebanon is working really hard on their arm wrestling, educating people and making uh, sure that arm wrestling is like top sport in the country. So, mm -hmm. and and I'll just watch the video on this. I don't know, 100 people there supporting, chanting. It's uh, very good. And the matches were were really good. Um, they didn't have, the, of course, the, all the best arm wrestlers from Turkey facing them. They had good ones, uh, but uh, still, good job. And uh, it, it, it was fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, Golden Arm. Golden Arm 2019. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, 
Kazakhs went there. It's, it's like a Kazakhstan national championship. <laughs> I, I, ju I just checked the results and uh, it's uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan. Yeah. And if, if, if five people from Kazakhstan is in, 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 some, class, in some categories, they're like, first uh, six place. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First five, six. Yeah, yeah there are like three, four uh, Kazakhstan in the top yeah. place. Every year there are big team from Kazakhstan and it was probably the biggest ones this year. And in in uh, pro classes, uh, pro only, classes, and in, in, in like uh, beginner uh, classes as well. Yeah, but in pro classes, like only only class, only uh, one who I think ninety five kilo yeah, class, ninety five yeah. kilo class was won by Vias Antolius yeah. from uh, yeah from Sweden from Sweden. That's so the only, only local win. All others yeah. were for Kazakhstan. Yeah, it's crazy. Great job, Vias. Yeah, we we know Vias. Vias is a beast <laughs> and. Uh, he he looked very good. I, I, I saw his final matches. He looked very good from against the guy from Kazakhstan, but mm -hmm. uh, all the other categories were dominated by Kazakhs, and all the open class. Was open class as well was uh, one uh, woman at Lisanskaya. Uh, Lisanskaya and Ongarbayo won the men open class. And in open class, I think uh, also Vyas lost against. Uh, Nurdaulet. No, against 70, 78, no kilo guy. Uh, I have to check results. <laughs> you have to check, yeah, I'm still checking the results. <laughs> but yeah, I, I saw a lot of videos yeah. from, uh, from forums. Talgat Aktayev. Aktayev, yeah. Aktayev, Ak Aktayev Ak just flashed Ak the YSA 7 video. Vyos hooked him, get in a little bit, catch, and then... Couldn't catch him. Couldn't and then catch just him went through. Too fast, but uh, yeah. Talgat is one of the most explosive yeah. arm wrestlers. And yeah. Not not only in uh, lightweight. Not in lightweight. So yeah, it was uh, all the way Team Kazakhstan, and uh, but it's good that the world level team comes to your country and gives g gives opportunity to try to fight with them. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I think Swe Swedes were really trying to win them. Yeah, Sweden usually very strong uh, women arm wrestlers. Uh, didn't didn't, didn't, didn't compete. No, 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 I, no, no, I didn't, no big I didn't names. Sophia, yeah. I didn't so uh, Malin Berg, Bergstrom, I didn't so all those big yeah. girls. I don't yeah. know why. Big big names from Swedish women arm wrestling. I don't know why why they didn't compete yeah, in local girls, tournament. Why? What happened? You know, mm. you you should. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, some things are coming up with uh, bottom eight. But uh, <laughs> it's nothing more specific. Uh, we talked about this on, on the last show, but on about the uh, top eight also, we're still waiting for the draw. But uh, Paul was posted a video, uh, picture with Devon and saying that Devon's coming to Malaysia mm -hmm. to be competing in a Vendetta match. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be part of uh, top eight mm -hmm. if it's happening. We, we don't have any big confirmation from that, but I think that would be interesting. Yeah. It's 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 a uh, Devon is having contract with uh, yeah. WAL. So so he's because they wanted to, with uh, for people who don't know why isn't Devon in top eight because WL has has him under contract and Paul wanted him to compete only in this competition. Yeah. Sa same as same as uh, yeah, yeah. Dave, Dave Chaffee, Chaffee, same as Michael, Michael Todd. Todd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's well, only American is Tim Bresnan. So mm -hmm. they will do a super match with him. Who would you want to see him pulling? Question: uh, Who is not in top eight of, well, of the potential? So it's Vitali, yeah, Vitali. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, that and, would be and good. And also, there was uh, some some uh, already some uh, news about that Vitali will be in in uh, Malaysia as well. Yeah. So so if they both are there, that would be a good match. <laughs> right arm, left arm. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Vitali Lalatin uh, versus uh, Devon. Huh? It's interesting if. Uh, I don't know now who would win. I, it's hard to pick a winner for this one right now, but we'll see if that even happens. You know, this is our <laughs> dream matchup right now. We're just talking. <laughs> so um, no one knows it, if it will happen. Yeah. yeah um, what else? You, Engin, and Krasimir teased us a little bit about some camp, but it's still in works. It's they, still in works. They made yeah. a post. I saw a post on Facebook. <laughs> they already posted that yeah. it's gonna happen. But it's still in works. What's the idea? Can you tell us? What's the idea? We would like to to organize uh, organize arm arm wrestling camp for for everyone who who are interested. It's it could be for one week in in a summer in a Turkey in, in near Istanbul and uh, Engin Terzi, Krasimir Kostadino, me myself. Uh, 
we, we would we would uh, share our knowledge about arm wrestling about our uh, our training methodics and then so uh, basic basically everyone who wants to get better in arm wrestling you should be there but we will we will see what will happen out of this uh, yeah. it's, it's still it's, dates it's still, and still, everything yeah it's still, it's still, still in plans they still yeah. are working out what what what, what would be better about uh, yeah. Uh, but I think that's a good idea if people can take vacation together yeah. in Turkey and uh, have a learning experience for arm wrestling like camp. Mm. We don't have that much camps in arm wrestling, you know. Maybe mm. some countries will have some separate. Uh, we've been fantasizing about this for years. Yeah, we have tried. Uh, we have yeah. tried to organize something similar here. It's it's hard mm. for people to take uh, time off the work mm -hmm. and for paying for everything and else, you know. But um, we will keep you posted, guys, if uh, anything happens with this one. Mm -hmm. So, um, anything more about this week? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. So, if if you want us to talk about events, because we don't really know anything, everything that happens. We don't know world, anything. We don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. The world is so big and we don't know about upcoming tournaments or something that just happened, some interesting matchups, some uh, super matches. Uh, there's an email in description global.armistling at gmail.com or you can uh, leave a comment and just tell us about this idea or, or event or something if you want us to talk about uh, here on this segment in the show. Mm -hmm.